Hi, my name is Jason with AlarmSystemStore.com. In today's video, I'm going to be doing the unboxing for the Helix Alarm System. It's a fairly new system and it has a lot of cool features that we really like. So before we get started on that, if you haven't already subscribed to our channel, please do so. Uh, the more people that subscribe, the more people we can reach about DIY security. So let's go ahead and go to the table and we'll get started. All right, let's go ahead and do an unboxing of the Resolution Products Helix panel. So this is going to be what you're going to get in a brand new Helix uh, system. Now this is the control panel only. So if you look at this card, it's got the model number as well as the description. Uh, control panel, no cards, RE6100S-XX-X. So uh, if there were cards, there would be some uh, additional letters here just kind of telling you what cards are pre-installed on the system so this is kind of the clean version real simple uh, you know if you wanted to do like a local sounder only uh, this may be the way to go uh, but again you can get different configurations so you don't have to buy everything separately so let's look at the side here Simple and predictable installation, full interactive security and home automation capabilities. Talks about the different uh, cards that you can get, Z-Wave, cellular, Wi-Fi, translator for takeover. Uh, those are all available on there. Uh, comes pre-installed with an Ethernet port, so you don't need any of those other cards. As long as you can do an Ethernet connection to your IP, good to go. Uh, and it can use the Cryptics wireless devices so you don't need a translator although they do have the translator available uh, if you want to do a takeover without having to replace everything so uh, it kind of gives you on the box the brief overview of, of the four steps to installing it uh, now it's a little bit more in depth than this in reality but this is kind of your quick how to do it so Plug it in, connect to your uh, internet, check your LEDs, download and use apps for installation and control. So let's go ahead and open this up. So it's kind of a neat box design here. All right, so when we first open it up, at least the way I did, you'll see some manuals here. So this first one is uh, looking at you know, a whole bunch of tables of information here. This is going to be used, you know, potentially by you if you're doing the install. It goes over, you know, all the different options, basically. Just a ton of information here. Talks about, you know, the different options, what kind of, uh, what it affects, and what your range of uh, values are and you know things like that so it's just tables and tables of information you know uh, it's a lot of information to go over and honestly for most people uh, you're not going to really need this it's uh, got a lot of good information that you might need to reference but a lot of this stuff you're not going to ever look at so don't get overwhelmed by this if you see that Next we have the uh, actual manual for the Helix that kind of gives you your step-by-step -step install, the features, uh, what's included in the box, things like that. Um, and keep in mind that you know the instructions here reference it as if you were a professional installer. So obviously you know we sell to the general public, so it kind of changes things around a little bit. Uh, one thing to keep in mind, you know, first thing it says is set up a new account. If you're using Secure Smart and you know you want that feature, definitely you'll want to set up a new account. You know, and of course we'll be doing that for you, working you with, with you on that. Uh, however, uh, you can use this system as a local sounder only. So if you don't want you know any subscription fee you just want the system to make some noise uh, you know as a local sounder you can do that uh, in which case 
completely disregard step one. I mean, it, it's there's no account to set up if you're not setting up account. Uh, now, it's not really a supported feature of the Helix, because of course, you know, they're they're gearing it towards being a full uh, smart home security platform. So uh, it's definitely got a lot more capabilities than being a local sounder, and they're not really advertising it as being a local sounder, but it is possible. So it goes over the uh, installation steps, give you a lot of different pictures, examples, uh, different things. Talks a little bit about the Hellink app, which is what you'll be using to install the system. Uh, as of making this video, currently they only have the Hellink app available for iOS. So if you have an Apple iPhone, no problem, you can install the system. Uh, if you don't have an Apple iPhone, uh, unfortunately, you know, for Android currently, there's no Hellink installation app. Uh, we can still program the system for you. Uh, of course, we do charge for that service. There's additional benefits for it. You know, we do test everything uh, when we do a programming. So there's additional value added there as well. But currently, that's one limitation the system has. Uh, we have talked to the manufacturer, though. They are, you know, planning to release a Android app as well. So. Uh, just a temporary issue as of this video. Uh, of course, when something changes, we'll probably edit this video to reflect that. So it gives you a lot of good information here. Uh, talks about a lot of different peripherals, some troubleshooting, things like that. So, uh, But it's not an overwhelming amount of information like that other manual is. The other manual, like I said, goes into, you know, super amount of detail on everything. Uh, which a lot of what's in there is not going to be used by you. So let's go ahead and put those manuals to the side and look at the actual system itself. So this is the Helix. Uh, it's not a big panel. Uh, it's pretty thin. It looks pretty much like it could be anything. You know, it, it looks like it could be a you know, wireless router or something, you know. So you can set this on a shelf somewhere. It's potential that nobody would even know this is your alarm system. Uh, which definitely has some advantages as far as, you know, a, a smash and, or crash and smash situation where somebody breaks in and wants to just smash your alarm system as fast as they can, keep it from calling out. Well, they, they may not be able to find it with this unless they have a lot of information ahead of time which of course is possible so it's kind of a neat look it's kind of got a gloss finish on this uh, angled part I don't know if you can see that I'll try to angle the light at it uh, everything else is more of a matte finish so it's kind of got a neat modern look to it pretty simple on the side here there's just two ports you got your power and you got a ethernet RJ45. That's all there is to it. So, uh, this can be wall mounted or uh, it can simply be set on a table, which we'll look at here in just a second. So, let's look at some other stuff here. Uh, so, if we go inside these side compartments here, so it comes with an Ethernet cable. So if you don't have an extra one laying around, they give you a six foot cable here. Uh, it's a category five, plenty for what the system needs. As long as you're within a six feet of a ethernet port, whether that's your router or you have it run through a wall, uh, no need to buy anything else there. And then on this other side, let's see what we have. So, give you a little screw, small baggie there. And this is the desk mount stand. So, you know, that just sits on a table. You can see there's a little notch here, which lines up perfectly with this little notch here. Just set it in. There you go, your desk mount. Uh, so, 
and again with that you can set this system anywhere and looks like the last thing we have here is the power cord so I believe it's about a 10 foot power cord and again you don't need to run this through a wall uh, the since the power access is on the side it's not going to cause any issues they do have a little tab here so you can run you know run the cord through that so that if somebody pulls on the cord it's not going to be pulling on the actual jack it'll get stuck here and that's where it'll pull uh, and i believe that is everything so our box is empty so i do want to open this up real quick uh, it's not hard to open there's just a little button here it takes a decent amount of pressure to pop it uh, inside you can see we have the circuit board uh, on the board there's these white outlines and it shows module slot one module slot two and module slot three so this is a modular system it's a module slot one is designed for uh, cellular communications uh, module slot 2 is designed for Wi-Fi so there's two different things you can put in this slot there's a Wi-Fi for communications so you know if you don't have an Ethernet port available still want to use internet to communicate you can get a Wi-Fi module that'll snap into this spot the other uh, option is another Wi-Fi module but it's not for uh, exterior communications it's actually for communications uh, to the Gila touch keypads so those are uh, touchscreen keypads that work over Wi-Fi, uh, but it kind of creates its own little self-contained Wi-Fi network. And then module slot three is where you'll put either a Z-Wave card or a translator card, or they have a combination card. Uh, so they have quite a few different options here. We've got a little uh, siren, built-in siren, and of course a backup battery. Uh, and then there's some antennas here for uh, communications so uh, you know this is your cryptix communicator uh, those are the antennas for that so uh, that's really all there is to the system itself let's kind of put this together real quick and I'll lay everything out so you can see it so there's your helix you've got your desk mount I don't know if you can see. Set it up here. There's your desk mount. You've got your power cord, Ethernet cord, and your manuals. So that's all that comes with it. And again, uh, if you get a model with the built in cards, those will be pre installed and ready to go. I hope you found a lot of good information in this video. Uh, we'll definitely have more videos on this system in the near future. If you liked the video, make sure you hit the like button to let us know. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.